Good morning, bedheads and sleepy breads. Welcome to the Tuesday stream where I am so incredibly late. We're going to start a new game. Sleepyhead Farms. Favorite thing. Uh, What's my favorite thing? Oh, there you go. The bed breads. Man, do you guys remember the t-shirt over top of the shirt look from like the late 2000s? <laughs> late 2000s, I still dress like that. Don't let the frickin' eras tell you how to wear clothes. Everyone's just like, wow, what are you from the 2000s? And you're just like, what of it? To your bro, if you will. What the- oh, I I thought that those were parachute pants for a second. <laughs> Hold on, no. I need everyone to understand. We're zooming in. Can you understand why I thought at a glance that those were parachute pants in comparison to the original put to the original pants? <laughs> Brother, I've been sick for a week, sir. Take care of yourself. Are you down with the sickness? <laughs> hmm. Okay, just because of the number. Does anybody have a particular plot of land that they would like me to play on? We're doing wilderness. I've never played wilderness before. Granted, I don't think I've played anything besides standard. So this will be an adventure nonetheless. All right, we're gonna start. And for my sp uh, very special grandson, the bed, the thinnest bed known to man. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burdens of modern life and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Much like my bed, look at those legs, they barely hold. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now let grandpa rest, and rest forever I did, because I died. Joja, join us, thrive, work. I just love terminated. Huh? It's me. Letter. Dear Will Sleeps Not, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of change. Much like me, whatever <laughs> my adult diaper is filled. I think I'm so funny. The same thing happened to me a long time ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. Just like how I went nature in my bed. I can't even say it. So I dropped everything. So, so I dropped a fat number two and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy. Sleepyhead Farm. That's not what it used to be called. But I named it that way after I used to pass out a lot. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. Love, Grandpa. P.S. <laughs> P.S. Which we know stands for piss and shit. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old man for me, will ya? I'm the worst VTuber. I can't even keep a straight face when I'm trying to make my own jokes. I'm terrible at this. I'm so sorry, everyone. Hello, you must be Will Sleeps Not. Tis me, I'm Robin. Also known as Robin, you blind guns. Spam guns if you got them, boys, cause we're about to get robbed. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. This is the Sleepy Farm. It used to have a different name until your grandfather started passing out a lot, and then he changed the name. Thankfully so, because it used to still start with an S, but it wasn't the same spelling. Not a couple of the letters, though. Oh my god, what am I supposed to do with this place? Sure, it's a bit overrun, but there's some good soil underneath that underneath that mess. And here, and here we are, your new home. Ah, who the hell are you, old man? Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of... Pe-pless... Pleskin? Pel... Pel... Pelican? Pelican Town? This was the name of the town is Pelican Town? Sorry, he's also an old man. You know, everyone's been asking about you. Not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. 
I really hope you brought money. Dear God, we could use money. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cabin. Don't look behind the cabin. Just don't look behind the cabin. There's a reason that this place used to not be called Sleepyhead, Sleepyhead Farm. It's a good house, very rustic, which is another word for shit. I'm a lot like your grandfather. <laughs> rustic, that's one way, that's one way to put it. Krusty might be a bit more apt to- <laughs> Don't listen to her. She's just trying to make you d dissatisfied so that she'll buy one of her house upgrades. As you can tell, our economy really needs money. Anyway, you must be tired from the journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. They'd also really appreciate money. You have no idea how desperate we are. I don't know why this is the joke I'm trying to go down. I have two jokes right now. The economy is bad, and both Lewis and Grandpa really have a thing for pooping. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just put it in this box here. I'll come by during the night and collect it. I only come by at night. It's when I feel the most alive under the stars during my blood rituals. Well, good luck. A box. It has seeds in it. I love seeds. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. All right, so what's the journal say? Introductions, I need to talk to people. Also getting started. Cultivate and harvest, harvest a parsnip. For five, we have flour. This is important. Inventory is full. Wait. Excuse me, sir. I'm new here. Well, hello. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star, uh, the Star Drop Saloon. Actually, great name. 10 out of 10. If there was like a town alcohol, what do you think it would be called? I think it would probably be called like Moondrop Moonshine. Hello there, quarterback man known as Alex. Oh, hey, you're the new guy, huh? Cool. I'll see you around. Oh, no, I'll see you around. Excuse me? Abysmal. Gunther. My name is Gunther. No, I need a, I need a good name for myself. Well, howdy. My name's Gunther. Not a single piece of the entire collection. I'm not going to remember this accent. What's this? You found something. Let me see. Oh, hmm, yes. Wow, incredible. He's just like rubbing your hand. He's like, oh, my goodness, yes, incredible. Oh, the calluses. You must have worked a desk job. Remarkable. It's very old. And this item you have is pretty old too. And you're like, hey, <laughs> I'd love to study it in greater detail, but it's yours. Hmm, I've got a favor to ask you. I cannot keep this accent for the life of me. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items and send them your way. Oh, the interesting items I have. Don't question it. Just take this strange phallic-shaped object and just sh <laughs> shove some Look, I was I was gonna make a bad dragon joke. I don't know why. Today I'm feeling particularly unreasonable. Donate. Here, take this, because I don't have space for it. We'll put it right here. Click here. Archaeology done. Have just a bunch of money. Gunther asks if you'd consider donating any new artifacts or minerals you find to the museum. He says he'll compensate you by uh, by way of occasional rare goods. Well, I mean, I appreciate the random coin. Hi, friend. Er, hi. I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. And if you ever need a drinking buddy, I'm your pal. And if you ever need a rival, I'm your nemesis. And if you ever need a neutral party, I'm your neutral party. <gasps> Dang it, there's stuff and things, and I don't have room to pick them up. First of all, hello, friend Arino. Ah, oh, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live on the little cabin by the beach. It's right over there, you see. Isn't it majestic with the little rowboat beside it? It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh. <gasps> 
Dang it all to heck. Please, 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 please. Just give me a book. Give me the book, give me the book, give me the book. Damn it! One seashell. All yours, friend Arino. Wee woo. <gasps> Dang it all to heck. Stop giving me artifacts, game. New reward. Oh god, I don't really have space for a reward. Okay, look, what's the what's the reward? Drum block. We'll we'll get that later. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into the old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown far over, uh, fields by myself. Well, jeez, lady, I'm sorry to ruin your day. Welcome to jo uh, to Joja Mart. I'm going to punch you in the face. That's me talking, not him. He's an asshole, and I hope that he gets frickin' thrown into a vat of lava. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Maurice. More like, fuck you. Joja Customer Satisfaction Rep, also known as... God, I'm not gonna finish that word. When you decide you want to become a member, I'll be delighted to help you make the transition a joyous experience. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. Sam. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Yeah? Wait, Sam, can I not speak to you a second time? Sam, please let me speak to you. Sam, why won't you talk to me? Sir! Sir, I'm actually really not done talking to you yet. Okay, he will not let me talk to him. Like, that's just a freaking no-go in his books. <gasps> Ma'am! Ma'am, I haven't spoken to you yet. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community. You can call me Granny if you like, because I'm, because <laughs> I'm just a sweet old lady. There we go. That's better. That's that's just the safer thing. <laughs> Mind if I sit here for a second, ladies? Fucking creepy, Will. Don't do that. Don't just sit. There's three benches. Don't sit next to people on the three benches. That's so faux pas. Oh. Hello, I'm Penny. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru? I think it's Maru, right? I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, well, thank you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face really alters the community uh, the community dynamic. It's so exciting. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. Spring is lovely. So I have just entered your house without permission. Hello, everyone. Oh, are you aren't exactly how I imagined. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone moves in. Having a farmer around can really change things. I just love the fact that her interaction is just like, Oh, you know who I thought you were? Huh. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. You are not learning, child. You have not learned the ways of not talking to strangers. You silly lad, you. You little dummy. You little idiot. Town on the first day. Talk mad shit to the locals and mock their children. Why does nobody like me? <sighs> Just haven't won them over with my with my magnetic personality yet. But we'll get there. They'll learn. They'll learn how cool and uh, and also awesome I am. <gasps> oh crap. It's starting to turn night. Wait, I don't even have a sword yet. And the creatures come out at night. Mr. Wizard. It's locked. You can hear someone inside, though. Hmm. That's some classic wizard behavior right there. Oh, it begins. Oh, God. I don't think I can make it to the place without cutting my way through. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. They come for me. Uh, I think. Oh, easy there, buckaroo. Hey, sir, I'm just trying to make some money. <laughs> No. Oh god, it gets worse and worse. Oh, it's scary out there. I almost died. No wonder granddad called this place shit farm. It's terrifying out there. I'm going to bed. I hope the door holds them back. <gasps> Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by the Grand Store today and check out our very affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Well, that's what I want. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Oh, hell yeah. I didn't realize he didn't show that he wasn't there at the very beginning. Hi. Wow. Not, not the most talkative individual, eh? <gasps> wormy, 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 wormies. Worm, 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 worm. Book. You found a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. Ma'am, ma'am, I haven't said hello to you, ma'am. 
Ah, Mayor Lewis told me he'd be arriving. I'm Marnie? I sell livestock and animal care products in Bat My Ranch. You should swing by sometime. Who do you sell it to, though? Ugh. I'm not in a good mood right now. I said I'm not in a good mood. What do you want? Jesus, lady. Okay, freaking. How much do you cost? 2,000? Oh, wait. That door's open? I think there's actually people here I haven't talked to yet. Hello, you must be Well Sleeps Not, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store here. Have you uh, have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's she's the pale one with the purple hair. Yeah, she doesn't like me. Oh, I can read uh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Are you did, did she tell me her name? Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. I mean, mood. Also, why why religion? Altar of Yoba. Wait, Will, uh, do you not believe in Yoba? I don't believe in anything. I don't believe in myself. <laughs> hey, it's Mr. Will Sleeps Not, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I also buy produce from you at a good price. I actually need to sell him something, because otherwise I won't be able to hold the fishing rod. Ahoy there, son. Here there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a good haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. And also a new fishing rod. You can have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Heh <laughs> yeah. That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. And he stank, so we sold him for a pretty penny. Pierre loves Wednesdays. Wait, is it Wednesday, my dude? Ah! Is it that? <laughs> I'm sorry if that was really loud. I didn't really think about it until I started. Beans. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. It's quite the, quite the resume you got there, Demetrius. Thank you for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. If you've have you met my daughter, Maru? She's interested in meeting you. Are you trying to hook us up, you weirdo? She's her own woman, sir. She can do what she wants. Hello? Huh? Hello, friend. A stranger. Hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. Okay. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all places you could live, you chose Pelican Town. Yeah. What of it? Just a reminder that Granddad over there was like, Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. You can come here whenever you really feel like everything is falling apart. And then you think about it and it's just like, Because of that, you let this place fall apart. Wait for my return on the dawn of your third year, Granddad. Sleep for the night. There's the rain. The spirits are displeased. Your life is difficult. Okay. I guess I'll just accept a difficult life today. Wait a second. Hello, friend. Hmm. This weather makes me thirsty. Yeah? That's, that's a great conversation there, friend. Love that. Love that conversation. Hello. <gasps> a rock! A little bit of coins. Please. Pretty sure to craft the bar you need it's the seeds i didn't know it was the seeds i've goofed i thought it was the mixed seeds specifically hey kid you're too young to be moping around in a place like this oh we haven't met harvey yet either the doctor pleasure to meet you i'm harvey the local doctor this is what i've decided his voice is I perform regular checks out, checkups and medical procedures for all the residents in Pelican Town. It's a rewarding work. I hope you find your own work equally rewarding in time. Oh, well, aren't you just a friendly fellow? Eh, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? George, stop being so cranky. Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Eh, 
When I woke up, I heard dripping from somewhere. I think the roof might have a leak. Oh, that's actually a problem. In the old days, George would have scrambled right up and fixed it. <sighs> we met everybody, except for the wizard. I think. Wait. Uh, social. Oh, you! You're... What house does she reside in? Is it this one? It's locked. Dang it! I missed it by 40 minutes. Let me in! Let me in! We avoid all the creepy crawlies that are gonna spawn. Like this little hackerino. Here he comes. Oh, he's come. Yeah! He hit me. Oh, snap. That forage was worth a lot. Cash money, baby! Whee! Come on. There we are. Driftwood. Fine. You! Taking a nap. I need rain. Ah! Hello, Will Sleeps Not. Marnie, you see this cat here? Meow. I found it sitting outside the entrance of your farm. I think it's a stray, poor little thing. Meow. I think it likes this place. Hey, uh, don't you think this farm could use a good cat? Oh yeah, for the mice? Absolutely, we could use a good mouser. Would you like to adopt this cat? Sure. Bed, bed bread. Yeah, that's what I do. Boom, his name is Bedbread. Well, little Bedbread, you be a good you be a good kitty now, okay? Oh, there we go, the parsnips are ready. To our valued, screw you, you frickin', I know who you are and I hate you. Our team has removed the landslide caused by our, yeah, by our drilling operations near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconveniences may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. I hope he... I'm not going to finish that thought. Parsnips. Money. Bonk, bonk, bonk. There. 300. Oh, hello there. What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Town Community Center. Or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. You know, your grandfather and I used to go in here and... You know, wait, never mind. It's not appropriate for this kind of conversation. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the television than engage with the community. But listen to me. I sound like an old fool. Joja Corporation has been hounding me to sell uh, to sell the land to them to turn it into a warehouse. If you do that, Luis, I will just burn this town and everyone in it. Pelican Town could use the money. See? I told you, we're always strapped for cash. But there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess the old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh well. If anyone else buys a Joja Co. membership, I'm gonna go ahead and sell it. <sighs> Here, let's go inside. Oh, this is how we activate the wizard. Huh? What's that? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. Oh, those darn kids. How could they even get through? The door was locked! There must be a hole in here somewhere. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Hence how the kids got in. Because there's holes everywhere. What? What's the matter? Are you ill? Are you stupid? Are you one of those stupid people I've heard about? Nobody in our town is stupid, but every town needs an idiot. I guess it's you. You saw something. Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. Honestly, that's why I'm glad you have the cat. Send the cat in here, clean it up. Us losing our goddamn mind. You're worrying me, Worse Sleeps Not. I said idiot, not psycho. Look, I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. I know that it's only 10 a.m., but I like to eat my lunch at 10 a.m. I even thought of a cool name for it, since it's technically between breakfast and lunch. I call it Brecken. <laughs> what do you mean people call it brunch? What a dumb name! Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked for now. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Darn little devils are trying to make me seem like I'm crazy. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. And I will. If you have to use me, what do you do? 
I can read it. It's easy. Anybody who can't read it is silly. <gasps> she is there. Ma'am! Oh, it's Haley. At some point, she'll leave that damn room and we'll communicate with her. Fix it! Behold. Our ability to cross. Hi. Oh, you take this stuff too! Let's go! Oh. <gasps> no, we're so close! Eel? Oh, it's time to get the backpack. It's Farmer Me! Yes, gaze upon my glory. You have a large backpack. Your space is increased to 24. Okay, wait, you left. Okay, you're somewhere. I don't know where Haley goes. Mm, I was peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place, undisturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. Sword! Name's Marlon. Marlon? Marlon? Marlon, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you, prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Not in your room. Okay, there is still hope. Maybe she's to the west. <gasps> no, there she is! Ah! Oh, you're the new farming boy, aren't you? Oh, well, I'm Haley. I don't know why I presume that she's kind of bratty. If it hurt, weren't for those horrendous clothes. Nope, never mind. She is an absolute misery. Be gone. Give someone a gift. Here. Ma'am, have a rock. Huh. That's such a stupid gift. Good. Go away. Chad, am I being unreasonable? Am I being unkind? Uncharitable, even? I'm just gonna fish. I'm just gonna fish. Nothing can hurt me while I fish. He says, knowing full well that many things can hurt you while you fish. Oh, no. No! And there it was, chat. Fishing can hurt you. Time to go home and be filled with regret. Ooh, I have a sword now, buckaroo. I am no longer afraid. Maybe I am afraid. He does not die. There we go. Oh, wait, that's awesome. <gasps> Kitty. Meow. Bed bread, you adorable little fiend. AKA asleep. <gasps> Farming level one. We have watering can proficiency and we have hoe proficiency. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry that I'm like this. William, you're my favorite hoe. Aw, oh, thanks, babe. Thanks, girl. Kind of an odd time to stop, but I think we're gonna stop here for a quick outro before I forget to do it and then lay awake at night thinking about how I forgot. So, thank you guys so much for sticking around. Whether you were chatting, whether you were lurking, whether you just popped in and out for a second, know that you were super appreciated. I hope you guys have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night, whatever time might have to be for you. I hope that you guys are taking care of yourselves. I hope that you're drinking plenty of water and... When you finally do sleep, whatever time it happened to be for you, I hope that you have a very restful sleep. See you guys later. Bye-bye.